Hello. I just realized the door is open still. So you're probably hearing the AC. Hi. I'm Snake Man. Welcome to Spooktober 2021. And our uh, wonderful orange, Halloween orange uh, overlay. Spooky. I might, hmm, I might add spider webs to this part where I, where I am. I just didn't want it over the game part or um, the chat. But I can be covered in spider webs. I love spiders. All right, so let me go close the door and turn on the PlayStation because I know you all love that PlayStation boot up noise. My daughter was kidnapped by a vampire. Please, help us. I have $500,000 for you now, and I will pay you another $2 million when you bring my daughter home safely. It may be too late. If, if she has already been taken by the vampire, and if she should ever be killed, let it be without suffering. What is her name? Charlotte. She is my most precious daughter. Now, hurry. My son has also hired other hunters. I'm back. I, uh, my controller wasn't synced up. Hello, Lorigami. Welcome. Welcome to Spooktober 2021, our first spooky stream of the month. And welcome to Vampire Hunter D for the PlayStation 1. Um with beautiful CG graphics. So this, uh, this cutscene here is kind of a recreation of a scene. I'll, I'll talk about what this game is based off of once we're done with the intro. Good noise. Let me let me know how the audio balance is. These PS1 games can be a little crusty. I totally forgot how this cutscene went. <laughs> yeah. It's time for jams.
He has a very long sword. Which is good, because uh, you're going to see this game's combat. It's something. I guess we'll look at the game. This game also does resolution swaps, which is, uh... It's great that we have the Retro Tank to take care of that. <laughs> Welcome to Vampire Hunter D from Victor Interactive Software and Jalico. So Vampire Hunter D is a series of novels. I don't even want to say they're light novels. I think they're just full on novels. Uh, mostly centered around, um, I guess they're all centered around this character named D who is obviously a vampire hunter. I guess that sounds all good and dandy. We're gonna play on normal and hope for... hope for the best on that. 12,090 AD. 10,000 years have passed since the final war brought the history of the human race to its end. The vampires have reigned over the world since that time. But now they are dying as a species. This is their final hour. The humans are regaining their power after many long, dark years. But some vampires remain in the remote region and continue their horrific attacks against humans. Such action has prompted the proliferation of bounty hunters to destroy them. Among these hunters, the Dunpeels, half vampire and half human, are considered the finest. In time, people began to talk about a young hunter of remarkable beauty and skills. So that's a little bit of world building for you. Uh, the, the Vampire Hunter D's series takes place in kind of a futuristic post-apocalyptic world where the humans are kind of in this dark ages where they don't really have technology, but the vampires have crazy technology and live in these like elaborate um, castles and, you know, do vampire things. They must have gone in here. You might be curious why it says left hand. Because he talks to his left hand. <laughs> so, there's Maya Link and the Marcus brothers who are after him. All the pieces are in place. So it seems. Chaith, the legendary castle. I thought it had already fallen to ruin. I wonder what brought Maya Link here. And here we go. Oh boy, I get to remember how to play this game. <laughs> I tried to find the manual online and I could not. Okay, that's hand. All right, so triangle, sheaf, and unsheaf. Circle is action. Uh, we can dash. D, this is the exit. We must enter the castle. I'm scared. Away. <laughs> I want things. That's going to be very helpful. This game has Resident Evil style puzzles and I, I say puzzles, I mean like, hey, here's a key to open this to get a key to get more key. Get this key. <laughs> be careful, D. 
This castle has an evil air. I've never felt anything like it before. So Vampire Hunter D, like I said, was a, a series of novels. Um, let me just get the stuff. I don't think we can go in any of these doors yet. I think we have to go up the stairs. But let's get things. Um, <laughs> it's because his name's D and he hunts vampires. He's also a dampier. Which they, they talked about in the intro. He's a half vampire, half human. Look at this pre rendered backdrop static camera angle game. Yeah, because I need a key card. Like all good things. This must be a portrait of Carmilla, the mistress who resided in this castle. Carmilla? People used to call her the Bloody Countess. Her extreme ferocity incurred the wrath of the Vampire King, and he destroyed her himself. I guess we should be thankful to the King. She could have been an unbeatable enemy. This plate must be the key to some door. Look for the door that matches the key. It looks like a closet. It's decorated with a relief. Um, so late 80s, early 90s, um, Vampire Hunter D got an OVA. I want to say it was 89. And uh, it was released in theaters and released on Laserdisc the same day. So it's kind of up in the air if it's Nova or if it's a theatrical film. I'm just going to go with Ova right now. As uh, most of the internet seems to refer to it. Even the Japanese speaking internet. I did some research. Oh yeah, we can save at any time. So let's do that. So we don't have to watch the intro in case things go bad. Because things can go bad in this game. Uh, so that OVA is kind of like... Oh, first let me talk about Vampire Hunter D. The, covers, uh, the cover artist was uh, Amano. You might know him from uh, the works of Final Fantasy. Did a lot of the character designs for D. Obviously, it was a novel, but it had some illustrations, usually covers. Um, and then one of the characters is like a female, a strong female vampire hunter herself who carries a whip. And a lot of people do give... Okay, that's the blue door. I just want to see where we're going. A lot of people give uh, Vampire Hunter D for having... Give a lot of inspiration to Castlevania. To the point where when D kills a vampire in this castle, the castle crumbles. Uh, if you watch the Vampire Hunter D original OVA, the castle also looks... Just like um, the Castlevania, uh, uh, Castlevania Two Belmont Revenge castles. I hate this thing. I want to get my stakes. Don't mind me. Ow. And my flash bombs. Oh, is there something in this corner too? Ow. No. Hey, 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 go in the door. Oh my god, you can't go in the door while you're running. There you go. <laughs> I kept running into the door. 
so there was a second OVA. Um, this one actually released in theaters. It's not an OVA. It's a theatrical film. And it actually came out in America first. Because uh, just, it was more popular. Over here. <laughs> ah, yummy. Feed me more. The hand is probably the best character. Because yeah, D doesn't have a character. D is the quiet and stoic. I forget if you can eat the bats. I gotta remember how this works. I don't remember. Okay, that's block. Run is on L1. Walk is on L1. I'm, I'm sorry. That's actually useful. Ah. That's suck. That's shoot. Pew. Okay. So yeah, we have a meter in the bottom left corner. Where we feed our hand. You must be Meyer Link. I'm here to save the girl you kidnapped. So, Charlotte's father hired a hunter. I dislike senseless killing. If you leave now, I'll spare you. You don't scare me, Meyer Link. This will be easier if you just tell me where you're hiding her. You should have listened to my advice. Very well. I will shred you to pieces. Ugh! It's quiet now. Should we go inside? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so the second movie called Bloodlust, that was directed by the director of Ninja Scroll and Wicked City. Um, that had some big name, not big name, <laughs> it had some good voice acting, like Richard Epcar and stuff. Who disturbs me? I'm here for the young woman. And this game is kind of a loose adaptation of Bloodlust. I see. You are also a hunter. I will deal with you as I please. You must be a Dunpeel. Why do you hunt us for the humans? We share the same blood. I see you're here for the money. Shame on you. Die, traitor. Here we go, our first piece of real combat. So we can hold R1 to block. Because our cape is like cool and magical. Don't you love static camera fights? <laughs> Don't worry, they'll get more bad because there'll be more movement involved. I've heard talks of a skillful hunter who is a Dunpeel. You must be D. I am D. Meyer Link, I thought you never hurt humans. Why did you kidnap Charlotte? You don't need to know. I will settle this with you later. Oh, 
Bye. I guess I'll go have fun in your mansion. Your castle. <laughs> the smell of a young woman's blood. It must be irresistible. Why not quench your thirst a little bit, huh? <laughs> Quiet. Are you going to use a potion on the human girl? Y yeah, I guess. Mom. You're not mom. Uh, who are you? Where is Meyer Link? He escaped. Ouch! Damn that Meyer Link! Don't tell me you saved me! Okay, I won't tell you. I didn't ask you for that. You think I should be grateful, don't you? I was just doing my job. I'm Layla, a member of the Marcus Brothers. Who are you anyway? I am D. I've heard of you before. There's a Dunpeel hunter in this remote region who's supposed to be as good as us. That must be you. But I didn't think you'd be foolish enough to help your competitor. Well, I'll give you one piece of advice for saving me. All hunters who stalk the same prey as us have never returned alive. If you don't want to waste your life, leave the castle now. <laughs> so, we saw the intro. Oh, she's tough. The Marcus brothers were the group of vampire hunters who came the here first. Brothers. They look like trouble. We should take care of our business before they get involved in the game. Let's go look at the pretty paintings. Unlike a, a Resident Evil or, or one of these games, you can't really inspect everything. There's no little funny dialogue for <laughs> looking at everything. Oh, I forgot. No, I, I, hand. I'm a little busy. There you go. I'm a chomp. Obtained blood pill. So we have our HP, which is our health, and then we also have something called VP, which is vampire points. And there's like some kind of balancing system. Oh my god. Just grab the thing. I don't even know if I've ever been in this room. Can I get up here? God. Yeah, we're platforming! Because this game has platforming. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Forgot. He turns away more than I expect. One thing is about this game is when you hit back, like, you either do a full step or just like half a step, and it seems random. This become this becomes important when we start dealing with moving platforms. 
Because this game has moving platforms. <laughs> Let me just check this box, I guess. Can I break this? I feel like we should have a key. So yeah, this game combines like sword fighting, platforming, you get some guns. You can sidestep. <laughs> I say you get guns, you throw like wooden darts and stakes. But yeah, it's it's a prototype Devil May Cry. <laughs> That's giving this game a lot of uh, a lot of credit. I hate the vomiting ones because they like to vomit off screen and you just run into it. I'm gonna eat. Oh. I'm gonna eat you too. <laughs> Need to heal. That's kind of our way to heal, is just to eat dudes. It seems the keys you have will not open this door. Whenever you do a door, enemies come back? <laughs> oh, god, I didn't realize that my not playing says the wrong game title. Why didn't no one tell me? Uh, I was testing another game that we will be playing, hopefully the end of this week, called Rusty. <laughs> not Vampire Hunter, not Killer. I've got Castlevania on the brain. Uh, last year we did actually play... Uh, through Castlevania 64. <laughs> it's alright, Blumbo. I, I usually do it pre-stream, so I was surprised I didn't do that. The, this stream was a little late and a little messy. So we got a new key, because, you know. And we got this one room, this empty room that has a single fireplace and a desk. It's a really nice. I'm going to eat you too. It's a good room. This is not a hallway. That was a literal monster closet to like a black void that I can't seem to interact with. I don't know if I ever fought this monster. I definitely came in this room. Man, it's been two years since I've looked at this game and already I don't remember anything. How are you guys doing for Halloween? Yeah, so you can only eat things that have been weakened. So you kind of have to... And there's no, like, telling that you can eat a thing. You just gotta, like, feel it out. Usually, like, two hits on these normal dudes is enough. The later enemies are really rude. And we will be, like, save scumming or something, because... Man, fuck about... Fuck messing with them. <laughs> I 
This game is quiet until it isn't. It's, you know, PS1 game. Let's go this way. Oh yeah, we do have a map. Let me show that. Here's the thing, you, you you do everything with the circle button, so it makes me think I'm playing a Japanese game where circles confirm, but it's X. X confirms things. So we got a little overhead kind of... Look, I'm not going to say Metroidvania. This is a Resident Evil. You get keys to open doors. I forgot if you unsheath while you're running. I'm sorry, dog. Can I eat you? Let me eat you. <laughs> cool. Ah, damn it. I missed. Here's the thing, you're invincible while you eat. I mean, obviously you come out of it kind of... Not great. <laughs> but, you know. It's nice to eat. Because <laughs> that's a full heal. It gives you access to other powers. And it's our main way of healing. And a lot of the game is just kind of these long hallways, just filled with enemies. It's not a whole lot of interesting design. I mean, uh, there's some good visuals. And then we will get to the platforming. Oh, this room's a jam. Come on. There's a clock in here. Need to look at. Uh, okay. I think this is randomized, and, um, this is a puzzle solution. So I'm just gonna make a little notepad file. 225. I believe this is an optional puzzle with that. It's a card table used by vampires. It's an ordinary chair. It's a stuffed bird. Oh yeah, our, our hunger, our hand is constantly hungry, so like that meter drains over time. Hello, world's rogue. Welcome to Vampire Hunter D. I'm gonna eat this dog. Oh, I might show you based on the eye. The eye is the lock on. When you can eat. Mm -hmm. I forget how to manually lock on. Oh, it's R2. It should it should try its best to um I forgot there was another dog. I keep eating too early. <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn the health thresholds of the enemies. 
taking dumb damage. So we found that clock and I don't think we can do this room, right? Oh no, we can. This is like some kind of elevator if I remember right. Tombstone, there's no inscription. Nice butt statue. Virtual world is free from long play streams? What happened? Did they get their own category? Oh yeah, we don't just push things, we like force push things. Mankind. So I believe that's another puzzle solution for later. Let's jot that down in our notes. Man, kind. Huh. <laughs> Weird. I think that's all I needed to do in here. I forget if there's a quick turnaround. I feel like this you, these games usually have that, but I don't think this game does. I'm like hitting back in a button just to just to see. No, you just gotta gotta do it the old-fashioned way. No camera. Camera really confused me where we were going. <laughs> So it's good we got that clue. How familiar are you with Vampire Hunter D? Or uh, chat in general? Damn it. The bats are the worst. They have projectiles and they're kind of hard to hit. Is it three hits? Huh. It takes so long to change your hand. It's like they don't want you doing it mid combat. This is a security device for the door, but it needs power. There should be a main power control room somewhere in the castle. So I gave a little history lesson about Vampire Hunter D, how it was a, a book series, later turned into an anime OVA, and uh, later a theatrical film. It's a neat world. It's got a future tech, it's got gothic architecture. Oh yeah, we can change our hand in here. There, there's a fast way to do the map, I just don't remember it. Okay. I was trying to remember where, um... If it isn't obvious that one room that we found the clock in, um, there will be a mirror version of that room. We just gotta match the rooms. 
I'm going to eat the wrong one. The eating mechanic's weird. It kind of slows the game down. But it's like the only way to heal in the game. I mean, there are blood pills, but they have a downside. There is like a vampire mode. And that's what happens when your vampire meter fills up. And that's great, because that like makes you faster and you do more damage when you're in vampire mode, but it like drains your health. And uh, so you're kind of in a constant battle. With um, kind of managing that, as well as you don't want to pop your vampire meter on just some regular dudes. You know, if I'm going to lose health from that, I'm going to do it on a boss fight. Alright, since that hallway's done and we haven't saved in a while, let's go ahead and drop a safety save. Try not to do this too often because it is a slow process. But the game does let you save anywhere. Oh, this must be the right key. I love the hand. The hand's like an asshole. He tries to get uh, D to kind of, you know, uh, succumb to his vampiric urges. He kind of doesn't like humans. Kind of doesn't like D either. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's check this door. The hand is... I forget the backstory for the hand. I don't know if it's given in the anime and the... in the movies. <laughs> These enemies. Look at them. Look at the way they move. No, hey. Stop it. Didn't have a chance. I forget it resets your sword. So I entered rooms and I'm like, oh, I don't have my sword. <laughs> They like spawn you in front of dudes all the time as well. It's a nice little like church. Uh, so there are regular potions that don't do the vampire blood stuff. Uh, they don't heal as well, but you know, they won't cause you to become a vampire either. So you can heal with that. But those are finite. And uh, eating enemies is, you know, infinite. The only problem is... Every time you enter and leave, enemies respawn. But we did get our power plug, so we can go back. Like I said, very, very Resident Evil, get key to get key. <laughs> I think it's this one? I'm gonna try to try to fix my posture and sit up in this chair for once. I love the the fact where the the model just gets shrunk. 
Look, a new enemy. I love him. <laughs> I, will I will awkwardly f jump in the air and try to hit him. You have really annoying projectiles. Oh. So yeah, did you ever want to do combat with tank controls, like in a static camera angle? <laughs> with very agile enemies? Because this is the game. I kind of love it. I had I had to stop. I think it was a bonus stream for Yes, yes, a similar room. It was a bonus stream for Halloween uh, 2019. And so I only had one day and I didn't want to keep going with it. Circle moves the long hand by 5 minutes. X button moves the short hand by one hour. So what was it? It was 2.25? So that's set. And then... Oh, right. I gotta remember what way the bird was facing, but I believe it was just facing this way. Now, this is the perfect mirror image of the other room. And for that, we get a chest. Get a few chests. Obtain elemental stone. A blood pill. And the map for level 2. So, like, I think this is an optional room, but, I mean, it gives you the map for the next area, so... It's probably good to hang out here. Isn't there a boss fight in here? By the window? Hmm. Maybe when I try to leave. No, I guess not. My memory is, uh, very bad. I thought you'd get jumped. Look, I just came out of that room, and already I have, like, a dude on me. Can I eat you? I'm just gonna eat you. <laughs> oh yeah, those uh, projectiles also kind of home. I tried the. Oh, I should have ate him. I'm a fool. Oh. Sometimes things just die before you can eat them. I want to eat. My hand is hungry. So if you remember, we did a, a puzzle in the other room that said Mankind. And like I said, this is a mirror image of the last area, basically. Vampire. 
Vampire. I don't know why I said it again. I was uh, looking at the stream <laughs> and then the delay it said vampire again. Uh, we'll need these words. These are not randomized. I could have not done this, I think. I don't know. But I'll need that for like a door or something. Or something. Yeah, I think I need more spider webs on this overlay. <laughs> what do you guys think? That's right, ladies. Lady vampires. They're a pain in the ass. Especially in this camera angle. Oh god, oh god. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> Can you chill out for a second? <laughs> See, if the hand's unblockable, and they can block your sword strikes, and I forgot, you kind of have to bait the, the hand out before you can even attack. And man, that, that, uh, that camera angle is really unfortunate, and I think there's a bat, right? We must have got the bat at some point. It's a security door, but it needs power. That should be a main control room. No, that's not the jump button. And we don't got keys for that. Let's do our nice little back step. I think we'll save down here. I think there's a boss fight coming up. Forgot his hot jam is here. So, like I said, this does take place in the future, so there is some future technology. We saw that a little bit with the uh, the laser motion sensors that are just basically just shoot lasers at you. <laughs> New enemy just dropped. It's like a crocodile spider. I forget it has a projectile. Hey. Let me eat you. It's like a xenomorph. I thought it was like a crocodile. He did not uh, feed my hand very much. Right, this room. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm not dead. All right, so what happens there is um, you have a random chance for your hand to use some of its power to revive you at the cost of like resetting your vampire points or something. I don't know. I believe it's random. I believe there's nothing in this room except this fight.
Of course, they're guarding the power station. But yeah, that fight just like you show up and they they're there to kick your ass immediately when you go to the door. Yeah, so I should have used a flash bomb. The items are very useful in this game. The problem is you kind of got to go in the menu and when you have an item equipped, you lose access to your hand. Oh my God. And we got the basement map. Here we are. <laughs> Let's give us some power. Good old future vampire attack. This should help restore the security devices. So I feel like this is this is harder to play than Resident Evil, uh, just because of the speed of the character and like the speed of the action, and also these guys are back. <laughs> if it counts as a regular enemy, the game is going to respawn him. It's very rude. I guess the, that guy didn't respawn. But he had a cutscene. So I think enemies with cutscenes don't respawn. <laughs> They're special. Like the the blood sucking thing. And it was like the see through blood bug. Got to jump on them. This is good. I thought there was a bat. But... Oh, he's looking like he's having fun. It takes a long time to get your guard up in this game. You'll see me go for it a lot. But yeah, the guard's only up when it's like completely up. What is the word? That was the button to leave. Circle button investigates. X button inputs. Can you understand why I get these confused? <laughs> that must be the right password. No idea if you can just remember the password. I'm gonna save, because uh, we did some stuff. So I worry about playing games like this that are kind of like these, uh, I'm not gonna say low energy, just, you know. A little slower than what I might usually play. It's a pile of vampire bats. Why do vampires need such giant castles, anyway? I guess they have a lot of ghouls. This is the room I forgot existed. Eat 
I mean, eat the flying centipede. They waste time uh, introducing enemies to you. One day I'll remember to hold the walk button when getting near doors. One day. Remember I said there was platforming? Oh yeah. It's also laser grids that you have to jump over. <laughs> Give me a sec, I'm eating. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh. oh, I'm dead. That one, we're probably dead. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, we, we saved not too far. My daughter will this game just, uh, game sends you right to the title screen. No fuck is given. It reminds me of, uh, I think it was when the AVGN covered uh, Castlevania and he briefly talked about Symphony of Night. And now he likes the game, but he gets pissed off when he dies. It <laughs> sends him to the title screen. I'm like, you can die in something in that nah, that's being rude. That game is that game is hard when you're new to it. And rude. Eventually you like accustom yourself to those games and they become easy. Cool. I'll try to show the laser beams, but they're not that good. They're not as good as healing. And if you kill anything with laser beams, you can't eat them, so... Oh my god, it's still hitting me. I do like the way it splits in half, that's pretty awesome. Where are you? I thought there was a flying guy in this room. Oh, it's a dog. I should probably have flash bombs, but I'm going to try using the lasers. Well, first I'm going to try not to fuck up. And I knew there was, uh, I knew there were lasers here, but... I forgot how far the character moves. Um, let's look over our map. Yeah, so I guess we should go towards the camera right now. And then they do shit like that, <laughs> where the camera shifts right before you get a jump. Oh my god, this guy sucks! Oh, 
he can't eat while he's being laser beamed. How about that? Never mind, I take back everything bad I said about the lasers. <laughs> I think they're bad against enemies that can block. I remember trying to use it in that one room with the lady with the snake hand. And it's just being useless. Because <laughs> I think what happens is it like gets stuck in block stun. Because she can hold her block forever. I think there's a, a... Not a boss fight, but just like a special enemy in here. So we're just going to save. <laughs> It's an ordinary mirror. There's a desk in here that's blocking me. Looks like an ordinary mirror. Oh, maybe this doesn't happen yet. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh no, my frames. Hopefully you guys are still with us, as my internet chops up a bit. suddenly dropped like 3,000 frames and he fell on the floor oh maybe it's time to yell how did he get here I know he went in the mirror but this doesn't look anything like what we were just <laughs> hanging out there but maybe there's a boss here Hello. Seems you're having a good time. What a cruel death. He must be one of the Marcus brothers. You must be very cautious. I should point out I'm not playing anymore. It's just all been cutscene of him just... Huh, that's weird. <laughs> I can't go back in. I don't know what that is about. I thought, you know, whatever. Maybe that's the, the I think there's a mirror version of this room. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. By the way, hello, Piff. Hey, we jumped it. Ain't no reason to fight anything, cause there's there's no experience or anything. Oh, we got a, like a thing. What do we got? We got elemental stone. 
Uh, so that like just gives you some hand power. I need a back step more. Sometimes you can get a three hit combo and sometimes it doesn't come out. I think you have to be holding forward for the three hit combo. Oh, cool. Good range. Can I eat you? I'm going to eat you. Getting time to start yelling at Comcast again. Fight the internet. More of this. Yeah, so that was locked. That was locked. I think I'll have shortcuts in a bit. Okay. Game tried loading something just now. Oh, it's jumping. It's rude. So mad. Oh, look, spider room. I want to live like this. I want a cool spider room. I want a ghost lady. Are you Charlotte? Like a trap. <laughs> Despite being a really good vampire hunter, we seem to uh, befall a lot of really dumb traps. And now we are in the sewers because it's a video game. It's in that you're not hurt after that fall. But now, you'll need to find the passage to return us to the surface. It looks like we're in some kind of water processing facility. Remember, water is harmful for you. You are half vampire. So let's go ahead and grab these. More grenades. More antidote. So you can touch the water, it'll just start draining your health. Let me go ahead and save before this segment. I think the game wants you to kind of like run around the water and be like, oh, I need to heal and stuff, you know? Uh, but the game also has platforming. Oh, hey! <laughs> I 
we're gonna see some of it soon. We're we're almost to that point. Oh yeah, this is the lizard man room. I don't know if we wanna be here yet. Let me backtrack for a sec. Not backtrack, but let me back up into the previous room. <laughs> Look at our map. First floor, basement. I guess we're further than the basement. As uh, our map cannot find us. You, you idiot. He did that. I didn't do that. He did that. He just walked, kept walking forward. Now there's something that keeps happening in this game. Oh, God, camera, please. I can't. I don't know where I am. Fine. <laughs> I wanted to make the jump. Okay, maybe do it. They'll do the lizard room. Do you have to do it from up there? God. I guess the, the problem with the camera is it just hitching. Especially before jumping. No, that's the wrong direction. It's also hard to tell sometimes where you're going to run forward. Because you're just looking at like a couple specks of, of D. There you go. <laughs> wow, we dropped even more frames. That's unpleasant. So these guys, they kind of suck uh, because they have like a shit ton of active frames on their like late breath and I think it poisons you. And this is why we've been getting a bunch of antidotes. And poison sucks on this game if I remember right. <laughs> I love entering a room and just like not even knowing what's happening. Couldn't eat that dog at all. It's a control panel for the water treatment plant. So they're gonna need to pick one of these. I said pick one of these. <laughs> I can only have one on at a time. Or off. I think I'm with this one because I think I think that is that's the the main room we were in. And I think that one is open. I think you need a key for the left one, or to open it, you need to do something. All oh, right, there's just like traps and stuff in this place now. Like that, these pokey pokey bits. Oh no, I've been poisoned. I also can't. I can't move. I'm like, I got stuck. I got chain hit. Holy shit! I couldn't do anything. <laughs> I was like, I was getting hit by one guy's poison off screen, and then when they come out of my iframes, I was getting hit by the other guy, and then I was also getting hit by the water. <laughs> That's. Dang. My 
I got got. I got got so hard. I don't have anything in my hand. That was just a straight murder. <laughs> I couldn't even see the other guy. He was off screen. I'll get revenge. Doesn't mean we have to do this platforming again. So apparently I have a blood pill in my hand. I would not, not have that. I'd rather have my nice smiley hand. Yeah, I think that is open. I guess that, hold on, if the water's flowing from here, then would that be the left? I'd have to look at the screen again. The other one's coming. Ow. I didn't see that. I can't even eat you, can I? Oh my god. Get out. How bad is poison? Poison's pretty bad. Yeah, poison lowers your vampire power because it's medicine for humans. And then blood pill is medicine for vampires. Oh yeah, there's pages to this inventory. So you have usable items and then weapons. Kind of. No, I don't want to save. I'm getting the circle and X confirm and uh, backup confused again. Munch on you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it flipped my direction. And of course, there's one here. Uh, thank you. I would like a map. Get out of there. <laughs> Fine. Just moving this guy. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna kill this dog, activate one of the directions, and then we'll save, because apparently this hallway sucks. And apparently I can't like pull out my sword in midair. So I made it like look cool. So which one we want? <sighs> look, I think if I interact with something with circle, then circle should also interact like in this screen. <laughs> yeah, so I want the right one first, I think.
I think we're going to try to run through this next hallway. I said I was going to save, didn't I? It's just rude. Game is rude. Oh, that path isn't open. <sighs> oh, I guess I could open. I could open either. Well, we're going this way first. I see them. More green lizard things. Um, let's use a hand grenade. Or not, let's not use... Oh. No, I'm gonna load. I didn't want to use two potions. I just wanted to know why I can use my hand grenades. Why can't I use my hand grenades? It's like, button? Button, work. There's enemies ahead. It's not letting me switch my hand either. Ah, that's the quick, quick map. And it's R1 on the options screen. R1 is not, not R1, L1. <laughs> okay, don't let me use any, any, God, stop putting your sword away. Okay, apparently that noise is like, it means it's equipped it. It sounds like it's error. And I didn't do it, but uh, apparently that did it. Cause I had the flash bomb equipped. Just not fast enough to realize it. And then it puts the blood pill in your... <laughs> There's a lot of problems with this game. Oh no, it's one of these guys. We've just been... We killed like... Five of them already. Okay. The hand found the secret item. A little busy here, Han. Interesting. Now I know their secret items. Time to mash circle on everything. <laughs> Old corpses are scattered everywhere. They must be Carmilla's victims. Oh, 
I don't even get a chance to enter the room. I'm just. Yum, yum, eat him up. Need to do map level three cremation burner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just looking for secret items now. Is there another reason to be here? Stop it. Just want out of that menu. Shoot, I think we're we gotta go back. We gotta do the left side, I think. Cause so I think we're gonna find that other room locked. And then we're gonna have to backtrack. <laughs> Also, we should have to run through that horrible, horrible room full of those awful, awful poison then. One more time. Uh, what if I ignored you all? Ow. <laughs> what if I got stabbed? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, this is gonna yell at us. Oh, mash circle. You're gonna hear it. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, is the platforming like. Hmm. There's a platforming room. That's the left side of this. Oh, I gotta do this block puzzle. I might not be able to. There's a door up there to reach it. We need something to stand on. Like, I don't know, like a block. I think I have to go to the other side. These are elevators. Now I'm curious. <laughs> Maybe I don't have to go do that other side. Back out. Aha, we need the wrench. We don't have it. They don't got it. I forget I could push this down or not. Oh, oh never mind. We jumped clear over it. It's clear I really want the X button to be the action button, and it's not because it's the jump button. Because they decided to make jumping a thing in this game. Uh, so that means we have to go back and then we also have to go back to the center room how terrible
one at a time, everyone. I just want to eat you. He hops pretty well. He also shoots lasers. He also eats things. Okay, that worked out okay. Yeah, this door is locked, right? Stop it. No, it isn't. Oh no, I respawned all those enemies. This is the stupid burner room. Uh, <laughs> I hate this game. How are you, Muir? Yeah, D's partner. We talked about him a little bit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We'll just. I'd rather take the stabbings than the poison. Here, let me get out of this room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, so D's hand is a... He talks. He's got his own consciousness. He's snarky. I have to reset the water now. Uh. Away! <laughs> D, D can talk, he just chooses not to. And you know, D's the muscle. Nope, <laughs> I was trying to sneak past that one. He's got the sword. He's half vampire, half human. All dampiel. All sexy. Forgot there's a dog in here. And to feed the hand. Probably heal. <sighs> I'm going to do this every time. So you interact with objects with the circle button, but then in like a menu like this, you hit X. If you hit circle, it backs out of the menu. Yeah, I play enough, like, I play enough Japanese PS1 games on the stream where I'm like, okay, I'm interacting with circle. I need to hit circle to continue. I should have never fucked with it. Should have just left to be. But America had to be like, no, the X buttons confirm. And now we have this weird thing where Nintendo says, no, the, the right button, B, is confirmed. And then the PlayStation X is confirmed because now PlayStation's based out of America, out of California. And PS5 is like, yeah, no, we're not doing that for Japan anymore. And, um, and then Xbox is like, no, the A button, the bottom button is confirmed. So I get this, we get this fun, like, what controller are we on? What's confirm? Song and dance. I just, I don't know. I, I get why they did it. Like, if you look at the previous generation before this, the Super Nintendo, confirm was pretty much the bottom button, which would be the, the A button. Sorry, the B button on the SNES. Oh, 
Oh, that one was secret. <laughs> that one was hiding. It's taking all these spikes to the face. Thank God we're half vampire. Jill and Chris, they'd be dead by now. Uh, no. Hey. And on one hit, too. One hit poisoned. You're lucky they throw a lot of antidotes at me. No, not you. And then they put the potions in your hand. Which is good in the boss fight, but really, really annoys me. These fucking cucumbers with their poison breath. You guys ready? This room is amazing. This is the rest of the stream. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save. Not that the water insta kills us, it's just annoying. All right, so we have stairs to get out of the water. Our goal is to get across here with moving the platforms. Oh my God. I'm probably gonna overshoot it. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't quite make it. <laughs> like I want to do it in the other camera angle. I'm more comfortable here. There's no strafe. If there was a strafe, ah, uh, see, I over, I over. Jumped it. <laughs> it's easy to do. Oh, right. If you hold, okay. If you're holding walk, you get a short hop. All right. I see. I remember. Most of the time I just jump from like here. <sighs> Every time. You gotta make this as stressful as possible. <laughs> Damn it, I forgot. Oh, here's the other thing I wanted to talk about with this game is when you backstep, I hit back once. <laughs> so, like, he'll just go. God damn it. This is a real video game. Now, to be fair, it's an anime game. And my games are kind of rough. They're usually... Uh, don't mind that. Don't mind that. <laughs> They're usually low budget. And, um... I'm not gonna say low effort. That's rude. 
but they're usually whoever they can get for cheap. And this is Jalico, so you know it was for cheap. <laughs> this is um, this is Victor Entertainment, who previously were um. Uh, who are they? They were packing video. So this is a pack in the video joint. And pack in video, they have a pretty spotty track record. Obtained wrench. This beautiful treasure. <laughs> Look at this room. Look at what we had to do. We had a fucking wrench. Then we had to walk all the way back through that fucking nightmare. Uh <laughs> Uh, what, what's a good pack-in video game? Uh, Magical Poppin is a pack-in video game, I think. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm just gonna ignore you. Uh, I hate you. I hate you so much. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm eating. Yeah, Magical Poppin is a good game. Uh, but Pac-Man Video at this point, they're mostly known for like uh, sleazy FMV games. Though this is after they they uh, became Victor Entertainment. Not to be confused with Vic Takai. We love Vic Victor Takai here. And I, I uh, next month we we are gonna look at uh, Golgo games because the uh, the Golgo mangaka died. And that makes me sad. Where am I going? I just want to save. I don't want to do any of that wrench platforming again. So we will be looking at the NES uh, Golgos. I don't know if we'll look at both of them. They're hard. But I own the first one, uh, Top Secret episode. God damn it. Yeah, go November. <laughs> well, I've done Car November already. That's in the archives. Um, basically, I played NES Karnov, and then I would accept matches in Fighter Assist 3 Dynamite at the same time. That was a good stream. I actually do like that stream quite a lot. How? The water hurts. But like, I don't know, I just, it happened during this month and kind of made plans already for a bunch of games, so I couldn't squeeze it in. I think next month we'll look at Top Secret episode. And probably hate ourselves. So that game's hard. But maybe we'll figure it out. Damn. Uh, I don't want to deal with them. I was like, I could eat them and heal. Uh, I'm just gonna eat this dog and heal, and then just try to run through the the, the room. Look at that! I remembered. I remembered you were here. And I remembered that the game expects me to be able to act during the fade in. <laughs> Cause the game's good. <laughs> I was mashing super hard. I was like, <laughs> once I once I saw my character dashing, I'm like, I'm gonna hit that triangle button. Cause when you're running and you pull out your sword, you do like this diving attack. <laughs> oh, so I wanted to talk about a bit about the uh, plans for Spooktober. Since this is the first official game that we'll be playing, uh, I'm hoping to get through this in two sessions. So this week we'll be looking at this game, 
And then if we have time, we'll be looking at a PC-98. Uh, kind of fake Castlevania. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. He won't. Okay. That could have gone a lot worse. <laughs> Be gone, rotten banana fiend. <laughs> They're ripe. You know they're 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 not ripe. They're they're getting there. They're green. They're unripe. Does that bananas work? I don't remember. We just eat green bananas, which are just uh, platanes. We make this jump. I guess we have yellow bananas here, uh, in the house. I'm not a big banana person. Oh, good jump. <laughs> it's a very smug hand. I wish you could just talk to him. Like, he should have been, like, the Navi. I mean, he does give you tutorial things at the beginning, but, like, I don't know. He should have been like, D, you should switch the water. D, stop playing in the water. Oh, there's stairs here. I just don't know that because they're, they're behind camera angles I can't see. Uh, so yeah, so we got Vampire Hunter D, we've got Rusty on the PC-98. Huh. Ah! Wow, grenades suck. <laughs> we got one in darts. Ow. That was exciting. <laughs> Both sides. Um, and then, uh, for the crew streams, we're doing Little Nightmares 1 and 2. Um, and then the, the weekend, uh, we have a schedule. I should probably make a schedule scene. Oh, I should probably put the schedule in the starting soon. I gotta figure that out, actually, because it, it, it's its own picture. Hmm. I gotta figure that out. Uh, Sunday we'll be watching the movie for Vampire Hunter D, the original, not not this one. This one, like I said, this game is based off the second film, which is Bloodlust, and it's like very loosely based. It just has characters from it and some plot points. Um, hey, now we can do things because we have a wrench. Now we can do block pushing puzzles. No, that's <laughs> I did it again. Interact is not the X button, despite using it to interact with your menu. I don't know why I do that. Bump. Oh, can you only push? There is no pull, only push. Got it. The room's not messed up, I just... 
Gotta go use our wrench. Hey, that wrench we found it fits. All right, so that's the center one. Boop. That's the last one. Look, I hit the X button to make the switches go. I'm gonna complain about this all the time because it's just like, it's counterintuitive. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if you want to, head over to our Discord, and then we'll be watching Vampire Under D, so you can get some backstory. Though it doesn't really go into D's backstory, that's that's kind of a mystery for us. Really fun block puzzle. part is not seeing where the hell we're going. Just a uh, exclamation mark discord to get the link if you like. To the wrench. This doesn't even make sense. There's three of these. Did we get three wrenches? <laughs> How does this machine work? Oh yeah, and we're also uh, six subs away from the next emo, which I think we're gonna... I think I'm just gonna make the... <laughs> we only needed one one wrench. Uh, what was it? I'm dropping frames all of a sudden. That's cool. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we move gimmick out of the uh, tier two. That looks good enough. Let me know if the stream is shitting the bed. We're doing fine for a while. Now the internet seems to be against me. It's always Spooktober this happens. <laughs> Okay, now we can get out of here. Believe the next room is a boss fight. We're gonna meet one of the Marcus brothers. So we're just gonna, we're gonna save because I think it saves the state of our crates. Yeah, the internet is just all over the place right now. Okay, it's coming back. If you're having connection issues, it should be back. I never know how Twitch is going to like, like sometimes I'll skip frames, it'll be fine and... Oh. 
Stop. I hate you. Oh, I had to hang. Damn it. I don't want to use a flash bomb. Cool action music. Who are you? <laughs> I like the game showing you what you're supposed to do in this fight. <laughs> sucked out of his body. What's happening to us? The Marcus brothers are indestructible, but even Nolt has not returned after being sucked into a mirror. <laughs> Wait, I forgot you are a Dunpeel, half vampire. I shouldn't get so close to you. You Dunpeels are not so much different from the vampires. You never know when you might turn into a vampire. I won't take any more chances. I'll show you how the Marcus brothers fight. Okay, we're doing this. <laughs> I forgot he bumps into you. You're clumsy. Oh my god, my health. God. Oh. Every time he touches me. Damn it. No kick. Why are you facing that way, D? So the game does have lock on, which like what it does is it reorientates your tank controls based around like a center point being him. Darn so for I need some help. You'll pay for this. Forward will always go towards him and left and right will, you know, shift to your left and right. I bet there's secrets in here. Oh, this lets us go back. Whoops. I was wondering how we got in this room. I guess there was a hole in the coffin. Ah, I see. There's a light at the ceiling I didn't see before. <laughs> so we climbed out. We climbed up out of the coffin. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna mash circle. Now that I know there's invisible items. The Marcus Brothers are supposed to be indestructible. The enemy is far more powerful than you think. Just, you know. Hanging out off screen. As you do in one of these games. So this is where we stopped last time we looked at this game. I spent way too long in the sewers last time. <laughs> I guess we should check out that door. Well, first we should check out these cameras. I would have put 
I would put something here. Fine. We should also save. Just because death is, is quick and sneak up on you. <laughs> I was fighting that guy and I was like, oh my god, I lost so much health all of a sudden. Because he like, he shot me, then booted me, and then bumped into me and that all took damage. Mm. Uh, so we're not streaming tomorrow. I'm actually going to be out of the house as they remodel my kitchen cabinets. Oh my god, snake lady. And we're dead. Just like that. Because the snake lady's their block. Uh, she was blocking. Apparently. Uh, they don't seem to have an animation for it. And we just kind of entered that room and just kind of ate shit. <laughs> like immediately ate shit. Because the enemies react to you before you can even see them. And the snake lady is just... Uh. <laughs> I wish she didn't have like an instant guard that just like... ignores all attack. I guess we are low on health as well, but I don't have any hand healing juice. Gotta use a, at least a blood pill. And we'll use a flash bomb. Oh, it only takes three hits to eat them? Huh. I should have just eaten. Oh. Well. You can see the flash bombs are very good because they just. They just stun them. They can't do anything. So now we have a silver plate, which is a key. I think. I don't remember where. I don't. I don't think it's as obvious as the red card and the blue card. So what do you guys think of this game so far? It looks like a courtyard. No, it's a cemetery. Cause it's it's very it's very different. It's very unique. And it's also very different from what I normally stream. Though we did play that one PS1 the first person fighting game thing, so maybe it's not so much out of the realm. Just me playing jank PS1 games. Cool. It's all right. It's got um, a lot of production value. Like the English voices are all good, which I don't. I don't think they're the Bloodlust uh, English dub cast. It has. Um, there was an update recently that um, it like it was it passed some ch some tests. Is this where we came from? I guess so. Okay. 
¿no? I thought we came... I'm, I guess I got distracted by fighting that guy. I... Yeah, I remember this. And there's a dude. I, I thought I came from where this, the camera is. Huh, guess not. Yeah, uh, that's crazy. I I don't know how like accurate it'll get. That's the thing for me. Uh, like I I don't I think it will run games. I just don't know how because I usually think of the Mister as being cycle accurate hardware emulation. But the the PS One and the Saturn are both kind of very scary beasts. Though, you know, I, I think PS1 is doable. Saturn... I feel like Saturn's gonna be very hard. They got, like, Rayman to, like, boot? <laughs> but, like, we don't even have, like, good computer emulation of Saturn. So I just don't know where we'll get with, um... I am the floating cube. Okay, you're an enemy. Probably can't eat you, right? Kind of wanted to try though. But we have a pretty good understanding how PS1 works, so. I can overcome that. N64 also probably not gonna happen, if I had to guess, based on just the architecture. Oh my god, where the hell are we? So we can go left? Here door? Or is that where we came? Sorry, I'm getting turned around. Oh, look at this room. So we got a center door. And then we've got... Hmm, okay. Forgot we found that map. With all the camera shifts, it's hard for me to keep track. Let's save. I don't actually remember when we last saved. I think it was in the, the cemetery. Because I don't want to fight the... Uh... I don't want to fight the cube again. What do we have here? We have some elevators. I can't... <laughs> I'm playing something at night over here, just backdash. This elevator goes down. leave our maps all over the place. I would put a secret box here. I still want a mister. Uh, mostly just to play old computer stuff. But I have to like... Man, I want to also get a satiator. Cool. I can't even eat you, right? Oh, this put me on the other side of the room. That's kind of funny. Um, let's check the one that isn't connected to anything. I didn't want to save. 
Well, we're in this menu, so might as well. I want to hit triangle to leave this menu, but triangle goes to save. Circle leaves the menu, but circle also interacts with things. This is... the game is trouble. Wait, we already looped? No. What door is this? I don't think this is, uh... Oh, there's a door that just goes straight. Okay. That goes to the first floor. <laughs> I did it again. I don't want this. Well, I was mashing circles, so we're going in the room. <laughs> Never before have I fought with controls. Oh, cool. That's a room immediately. No, I can't eat you. No, I can't eat you. Else I can't block lasers, apparently. That's a problem. Also, you don't give blood. And whatever item you have highlighted when you leave the menu is what's equipped. I just want to play Commodore 64 and Atari ST and Amiga. There are monitors and control panels. It's probably the main control room of the castle. Oh boy, it's puzzle time, ain't it? It's probably a security monitor. So we got blue, green, blue. This control panel is dead. Okay, the plate fits in the right slot. It seems the plate unlocked several doors. Oh cool, they're highlighted. It's <laughs> earning my Batman credit card. Do you accept the Bat credit card? That's nice that they highlight this. I guess we'll backtrack. I might have to start using the bathroom break soon. I was worried I needed a password. So I guess that's good we did that. Yeah, I want to look at more Amiga stuff. Oh my god, stop! I just entered, left the room. Oh, hold on, I see a box. Pick it. Pick it up. Bad dog. Into the hand. Blood pill. This doesn't even look like a door. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very good in this. He kind of just stood there while like a trap happened and he just kind of fell. Like he, he's kind of a bumbling idiot in this game. <laughs> also, have you seen him fight? Just... Let's go here. <laughs> also, hello, Spleezors and Curse the Blessing. How are you? It's fine. Evening, afternoon. Wherever you are. Whatever time. I should probably save. So we did like a cool thing. Unlocked a bunch of doors. And I bet if I died, I'd forget to do that. I've never read any of the books. I've watched the both movies. And we're actually gonna watch the first movie on our Discord on Sunday. For Halloween. Because it's Spooktober. And then I haven't decided the next spooky thing. 
that we watch. I'm thinking the Megami Tensai movie over. <laughs> and he's so pretty and so perfect. Yeah, we're t uh, so this game is kind of. Oh, we're back at the graveyard. I must have got turned around somewhere. The cube? Wait. Was the cube after this originally? The the first time we saw the cube? Oh it was. Yeah, it was right before these stairs. How did I end up getting Look, I promise I normally have a good sense of direction, but <laughs> every time the camera shifts, I I I'm lost. I don't know where I'm going. Mommy help. I like Bloodlust a lot. So I think we're going to try to go... Yeah, I want to go to that left room. Oh, no wonder I ran past... No, wait, no, that's where we just came from. Where the hell is this room? Oh, it's over here. The camera, it's not helping. <laughs> uh, D uh, Bloodlust is directed by the Ninja uh, Ninja Scroll guy, and I love it a lot because I love Ninja Scroll. Well, <laughs> I was a little short on that. <laughs> it's a kind of. Like, uh, all of Resident Evil, we, we talk a lot about Resident Evil in comparison to this game because tank controls and map sun tower and one in darts. Um, but the, the camera angles in that game seem to make more sense than anything. There's a lot of times, yeah, like here, I'll, I'll show you when I was just coming up those stairs where I'm not in any camera angle. <laughs> There's a lot of times I'm just fighting nothing, nothing I can see. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. All right, let's just start trying these doors at random. So this is the door we already yeah, because it doesn't have a symbol. So let's try symbol doors. Oh, apparently I have a key for that. I don't remember when we picked one up. We picked the silver plate up, which went into the computer. At the bottom of these stairs have been enemies all the time. Oh, no. So I wonder if I'm going to have to backtrack through, like, uh, the first floor to those locked rooms to get progress. And these are just kind of, like, shortcuts. Yeah, just cover the floor in deadly blood before I even move. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to have these normal enemies. <sighs> okay, where are we that we need a different key? Alright, this is tower. So we need... We got a key that let us into the elevator. <laughs> but... Now we need another key.
keys upon keys. I think that room was labeled Yellow Spider Joint, because every room is labeled in this game. It's like you're playing an Amiga platformer. This is the Banyan Tree. <laughs> Every screen gets a funny little name, and then you die. Because you decide to play Jet Set Willy. Nope. Oh, can't hit me. Okay, I think there's a door. I thought there was a door here. So we just did the tower, so this should be the first floor door. Yeah, that's also true. Unless, some games they have that like, you burn the body and they won't come back. Oh wait, no. There were laser beam traps, but I guess this is just the cool disco floor. <laughs> I thought it was a laser beam. Yeah, the enemies respawning is really bad because when you when you come out of a room, like you you come out of a screen transition, the enemies are already on you before the screen fades in and you realize what's happening. Also, every time you come out of a screen transition, your sword is put away. So you need to both pull out your sword and then react to whatever is fucking you up. Yeah, I'm going to guess that the that that weird room, uh, weird room with all the corners is just like a way to get around the castle fast. And we need to run around. Two holes in the pedestal to put something into. That's not, that's not the map. Where are we? Oh, so we're in like a, a part of the castle we've never been to before. It's behind the the room where we solve the the mankind puzzle, I think. I'll take this. Yeah, we do have some new places to check here. What's up? We can't. Door's locked. <laughs> the door's locked. Everything's locked. So that's locked, and then I guess that means we can't go over there, even though it's part of that room? We probably need to solve the pedestal thing. I'm just curious. Does he even show you? Alright. <laughs> that one... That one's also a dead end. Also, we're dropping frames, so... Sorry if the stream is cutting in and out. Or buffering. The internet seems very upset with me today. I don't know why. All I did was upload a 20 gigabyte video to YouTube last night. Away. Obvious is trying. <laughs> no, I don't have caps on upload. <laughs> I 
This door is still locked by the security system. What am I missing? Okay. I unlocked doors. All right, the bottom room. The bottom room unlocked a bunch of doors around the castle. The bottom right was a dead end. The bottom left was to the tower, which I didn't have the tower key. So the only ex the only path that I know is the first floor, or maybe these elevators in the center now work. So let's go into the center. Or we go back to the first floor and see if we can <laughs> do something. Oh, this elevator is working. Do you want to go down? I don't know yet. Does the elevator work? Okay. So this elevator works now, all of a sudden. Oh, we're back here. Right? We're at the, like, the main, yeah. We're just here. We're just vibing. Alright, what did we not do? You know, it showed me the doors that I unlocked and then, like, took them away. <laughs> now they're not on the map anymore. I'm guessing there's doors that are unlocked up here. Yeah, this door was locked before. So this is our shortcut back to the the edges of this floor. What a strange game! <laughs> Though we haven't been in this nice hallway. I have found stuff by just jumping on things, so I'm going to jump on everything and mash the inspect button. You can't stop me. <laughs> no, Comcast, no, Yamate. Oh, these hallways have a bunch of dudes in them. At least we can eat these. I wish the eating felt consistent. That one took three hits, but the one before it took two. Hello, dog. Get in the hand. Uh, so, oh. Sorry, let me just see. I think we can go in this door now. Um, so we have a hand meter in the bottom left corner and that gives us access to two different things. Well, three things. The, the world when we're looking at right now that inhales uh, we can inhale weakened enemies. Uh, the red item is magic. It's like a magic missile. And the third one's healing. And it, it's a really good heal. That door is still locked. 
So if that door is locked, okay, but maybe, maybe in the security room. Not security room, but the room with that had the the special lasers. I forget where the... No, the camera doesn't move here. Yeah, so we need to check that room. Camera... Yeah, whoop. All right, so this is a new room. We're making progress. Sorry, I just want to check something. Regarding the internet. Yeah, the VP is the vampire power. And if that fills up D... Oh no, oh no. Uh, snake lady. Oh, snake lady. No, snake lady. No. I haven't saved in a bit because I've just been exploring. God damn it. We got double snake ladied. So the snake ladies, they block your attacks, but they don't have a block animation. And if you hit their block, they automatically... My daughter was kidnapped. They automatically counterattack. <laughs> it's very, very quick to die, yes. <laughs> if that's what you need. Uh, where are we? So we're probably missing some, like, blood pills or something, but that's okay. We'll get them when we go back to those areas. But I think we're in the tower area where we had a dead end. Now we know when we enter that room to, like, use a flashbang. We. It's <laughs> a, a rude game. I like the music in it. it. Doesn't really like go anywhere or do anything. It's nice for atmosphere, I guess. Oh, we're in <laughs> I must have saved in front of the door. <laughs> Hey, okay, all, all those always look the same, but they're different colors, all right? And I don't, thought we were... I didn't realize I saved... going outside, you know, whatever. We made a mistake, and we're gonna flick, fix it. Yeah, but it takes like, I have to go into the start menu and then hit another button. And then loads. It takes a while. <laughs> I 
We're just gonna go in here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna take the elevator. Can I put a room with two snake ladies? It seems illegal. It's bad enough, one. And then, like, a big guy. I was watching, uh, Lumia was playing Sonic Adventure and finished Big Story. So I almost said, hey, big guy. <laughs> Hey, big guy. Hey, little guy. Can you tell me who came first? That's such a good song. <laughs> We're gonna go this way, because I'm curious. I'm also gonna save. Yeah, luckily, I never really messed with cassette tape type uh, computers. Uh, we had a C64. And actually, I do own a game on cassette tape. I think that's my uh, Temple of Asphi. Asphi? Ashai? I don't know. Uh, I think that's, that's on cassette, but I never... We never seem to have a cassette deck for the Commodore. Because that uses its own little connection. There's Snake Lady in this room, too. You see that? Where they just like... The sparks come out? I want to eat the big guy. <laughs> why? Snake lady, why? I just need to hop around her. If my hand is full, it will like, or I think if as, as long as I'm in my third bar of hand, there's a random chance for it to revive me during those game over scenes. But the hands being rude, also I have not been at full charge. Also, uh, the stream might be a little delayed. So you might want to refresh because we did have some uh, some frame drops, so it might have buffered because I just noticed the Piff did the rest of the song a little while ago. That or, you know, he's just not paying attention. Which, you know, he's done. <laughs> Everyone's busy. I gotcha. Okay, what are we gonna do about this? It doesn't matter if we go to this door with the sword. Um, we do have at least enough for one magic missile. We just hope that the magic missile hits the lady. Because it could just end up on the other person. Oh! How did I get turned around in that room? Excuse me? I thought I saved, like, right in front of, uh... <laughs> You're okay. I thought I saved right in front of the room I was gonna go in. How does this happen? How does this keep happening? Oh, that's the room I... Oh, right, when you load, it doesn't save your position. <laughs> I forgot. It just, like, starts you at the the entrance of the room. That's why that happened. <laughs> oh, and there's a dog in here. Alright, we're eating the dog. We're gonna eat you. There. There, we did it. Until they respawn. Oh, we're in this hallway. We've been in here before. It's just, we've never been on top of all the enemies at the same time.
You guys spooked yet? Okay, can't block that apparently. Have you known about this game? Because it seems like you're a big Vampire Under D fan. You're just shocked. Wait, we're going down. We're going the wrong way. Though we did enter, we do have that door, that room that we can check. Okay, let's go check those. It's something. I think I jokingly called it at the beginning of the stream a proto devil may cry. <laughs> So we probably want... Um, this room, right? That's going to put us back in the big old hallway. Alright, so then the next room on the right. Yeah, just run right past it. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> you can't enter doors while running. You have to hold walk or just like stop. And I always forget this. And you run by default. See, that's how I need like three slashes to eat this person. I don't even know what hit me there. And which one of these? This one. Let's save. We've had bad luck going into these unknown rooms. Sometimes he doesn't just he doesn't want to go in the door. Oh, I can't go in this door. This is not one of the rooms we can enter. <laughs> if only. That sounds like a party. Cause we're back at yeah, we're back here. We could... We could just go through this hallway to get back to the Grand Hall. Instead of having to backtrack through those rooms. Uh, but actually, I should backtrack. Because there's still stuff on the second floor in that side of the of the castle that I didn't check out. So... North. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, we'll get there from the other... Because we can get to the other side through here. Yeah, just... Come on. There's supposed to be an auto lock on, but I think it doesn't lock on to those enemies. If 
very rude. Oh, I never opened this. Uh, because we found the trap that put us in the sewer before we had a chance. Wait, but didn't I exit here? Is the game just like... <laughs> the game just whatever, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I totally did. This is where the alien is. Oh my god, just hit him. Maybe I should turn off the auto lock on and just use the uh, the button for it, which I think is R2. Hey everyone. What if? Oh, no. You got me stuck. No, now I'm getting hit stunned. Nope, now I can't eat you. Nope, can't eat you. <laughs> Goodbye. Killed her dog and just kept running. Oh, I wanted to go. <laughs> I wanted to go explore that floor. Cause uh, there is a room, right? Yeah, that big, big chunky room. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I was too busy running away. I was thinking about going to the other side, but we should probably check this side first. Notice how they, they make you need two items, because they know. We're out. Look, it's only one snake lady. I can deal with one snake lady. I screw this up. Okay, I gotta remember with the camera. Oh, maybe the camera doesn't shift here. Okay, good. Okay, we're gonna save, because <laughs> last time we went to a room like this, it was not pretty. And we're gonna... I'm gonna have five flash bombs, but... Oh, actually, no, we're just gonna use our hand. No. no. I did the thing again. <laughs> Entered the save menu unexpectedly. Okay. This is a lot like the room we were just in that had the multiple snake ladies. Oh, we're dropping frames again. Why? Why? <laughs> Comcast. Okay, there's only two of these guys. I can deal with that. You know why? Because I can hit them. This isn't our case of a mirrored room. 
We have... We have... The Sun Tower. Okay, so we have the, the Sun Tower now. Just gonna... Just go anywhere? Sorry about the internet. Let's save. Oh, let me go. Let me check Comcast support. Just in case they're going to be like, oh, there's an outage uh, near your door, and that's why everything's broken. Huh, there's an enemy in here this whole time with us. Oh, the, uh, we have the silhouette in the bottom left. That's probably what determines when we revive. So do I want to go to the right? Alright, that's where we came from. But we can also get there from the left. That doesn't really make any sense to do right now. Good camera change. <laughs> I knew it was coming.